is very nice in Y Devania. 67, 54, 11, 4, 90, 45, 69, nice, 43, 27, 18, 20, 76. The doctor will be in soon. 465, 231, 89, 40, 33, 74, 99, 204, 175. The broadcast will start soon. 74, 88, 421, 954, 348, 125, 52. Paging Dr. Kotaya, 8, 65, 23, 79. The weather is very nice in Y Devania, 67, 54, 11, 4, 90, 45, 69, nice, 43, 27, 18, 20, 76. The doctor will be in soon. 465, 231, 89, 40, 33, 74, 99, 204, 175. The broadcast will start soon. 74, 88, 421, 954, 348, 125, 52. Dr. Kotaya, 8, 65, 23, 79. The weather is very nice in Y Devania, 67, 54, 11, 4, 90, 45, 69, nice, 43, 27, 18, 20, 76. The doctor will be in soon. 465, 231, 89, 40, 33, 74, 99, 204, 175. The broadcast will start soon. God damn it. One second. Okay, I, I, my audio is coming clean. I forgot to grab it. Can you go grab it? Yeah, I was like, oh, fuck's sake. It's still pretty fucking loud. There we go. I don't need the cable. 
Oh, I do need the table shit. Yep. Okay. Okay, one second. Okay? Oh. God. Oh god. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Um, is, is that audio level okay? Is that audio level okay? Oh, uh, it's gonna pick up my fucking keyboard. Hey, Phoenix. Oh, okay. I hope that doesn't. The keyboard isn't too clear. This is gonna be weird for me because I'm used to having the microphone right beside my fucking mouth. Like, this is going to be definitely a, a learning curve. But it, it sounds nice and clear. The audio level is not too high. I, like, I'm, I'm not fucking blowing eardrums out. Okay. That's my only concern. No, nope, cancel that. New campaign, accept, start. I don't want to join games. I want to start my fucking own, so. I guess I had a fucking... No, there we go. That fixes that. It's been fucking a while since I played this game. Like, we're talking years. And then I decided I didn't... Yeah, I, I'm going to need to heavily tune this, this thing, because holy shit. Because, like, it... Basically, this is... Yeah, this is a studio-level microphone that I got you. Oh, that's fucking good. Yeah. Because, <sighs> like, yeah, I mean... What? Oh, the audio is not picking up. I see something. Yeah, I see what's happening. Something ain't fucking right now. There we go. Yeah. 
No, no, there was an issue there, because when I plugged the Eddy in, it fucked things up. Fucking scuffed on fucking TXT here. Um, is my... Okay, hold on. There we go. No, I just had to raise my vo my mo myself. Because I, I lowered my microphone volume because of the uh, whole bit here. I literally half my microphone volume. I, I assume I'm coming through pretty clear now. Okay, good. Okay, let's just let me get all this finished setting up. And off we go. Still drawing breath, I see. You're one lucky bastard, I'll give you that. Best go speak to Captain Bourbon right away. He seems to have a plan for you. You were possessed. So we uh, strung you up. Seems the spirit fled your body before your life ran out. I'd have left you to hang, but uh, the captain had other plans. He sees some purpose. He's um, up the road, in the courtyard. Don't make me regret cutting you down. I gotta move these bimmers of the year so I can move this microphone around. Like, seriously, I fucking gotta send these to Tay. There's like fucking six of these goddamn bears here. And I've taken up valuable desk real estate. Okay. There we go. Because now I can actually fucking, uh see things. Like, I can actually fucking see the damn, uh, second monitor clearly now because of this. What are you standing around here? So you're the one we almost hung. <laughs> I didn't really see a sense in it, but then again, no one really cares what old Mark... You're not looking too bad for someone just come back from the brink of death. You were taken, possessed by the same creatures that have been reanimating these zombies here. Normally I'd have burned you with the rest to be safe, but we've lost too many people to the dead. I need someone expendable. Someone with nothing to lose, but a lot to gain. Where the bodies of the dead are rising again in some form Okay, of go murder some zombies. Just don't just get up and move around on their own. Something is reanimating our... You will need to fight your way through Lower Crossing. Once you've crossed the stream on the far side of... Do this. So yeah, I was like, oh hey, I'm kind of craving a Diablo game, but. I don't want to go raid the breast milk fucking fridge, so we're like, yeah, hey! Let's play Grim Dawn instead. Because Grim Dawn is fucking good. And I didn't want to play Path of Exile again, because that's, uh, that's a whole other monster. Here, give me like one second. I'm gonna do something special for you, buddy, because you're you're one of the good ones. Let me fucking There we go. 
Yeah, no, fucking, uh, in a second you should have a, one of the fancy badges beside your name, because you're one of the good ones. Alright, classes. I don't have the expansions just yet, which, you know, is something I'm going to need to do. Uh, clearly we're going fucking with the goddamn demolitionist. No problem. You're one of the good ones, you get the good treatment. I take care of my boys. And I appreciate it. Like, one of the guys shows up in the stream, I appreciate it. Like, at the end of the day, I'm just doing this as a hobby, and having any of the people I know come in and hang out, that means a lot to me. You know, being gay and all that stuff, you know, it's like, hey. Not actually being gay, but you know. You know, one of those dumb gay losers who are like, oh yeah, I appreciate having my friends hang out with me. Because I'm just amazed people actually enjoy watching this garbage, because holy shit, I'm terrible at streaming. I'm just fucking amazed that I actually managed to make money doing this, because, like, holy shit. Who the fuck would watch this garbage? Like, I play terrible games. I'm terrible at games. Unless it's Planetside. That, that's a whole other monster. And we're not going to talk about that. Because I will never stream Planetside. Because we don't need to see that. Because, man, it gets fucking wild in those ops. Plus, the things that happen to Twitch... I would not want Twitch happening on Twitch, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we get a little spicy. Considering I've been running that outfit for... T it is, but I love it. I've been playing that game for 10 years, man. 10 fucking years. And I love every second of it still. It's one of my favorite games. Just for all the dumb shit that happens in it, and the people I've met in it. Like, I have so many stories. I've actually met some of the people I've played with in person before. Yeah, like, oh god. I've got all kinds of crazy stories about it. Like, I've pretty much at one... I somehow managed to become a father figure for one of the guys... Who was, uh, when he started playing with us, was underage, and I was his father figure because he had a terrible father figure. Or he had one. I, you know, I don't even know what the situation there was. He just basically let me. He became my like, adopted son. It was fucking weird, man. I don't know how it happened, but it did. It just fucking happened. But like, I've been a good role model for him for years now. And like, fucking, I've just met so many great people. It's just weird, man. It's just weird. Yeah, it's... Internet weirdos ending up being positive influences in your life is the weirdest thing to come out of this generation.
Now I got an unassigned skill point. I guess not. Okay. Game's lying to me. And I still can't believe I actually made money fucking d streaming. Like, I've managed to make a couple hundred dollars doing this terrible shit. Which is just weird to me. Yeah, that's why I do it, really. It's just like, it's comfy, it's easy to do. Not really the hardest thing for me. I'm just playing video games. At the end of the day, I honestly, I mostly stream for Kane because I know how much she loves it and she just gets to enjoy watching me to be terrible at video games. Oh, hatchery points, that's what do it. Hell, the fact that I've been able to stream my painting is another thing I'm really happy with. I'm terrible in my heart. Yeah, I've been able to actually stream painting. I've been able to... Uh, Yeah, I've, I haven't streamed in a painting in a little bit. It's been a hot minute. I haven't really had... Because, like, there's some stuff I still need to get. Like, um, I've been heavily experimenting with uh, some AK uh, base layer stuff. And I'm really excited to work on the Phoenix Hawk Mini. Oh, the premium one is going to be so nice. I'm excited to work on that. Like, the problem is that, of course, you know... Shit got fucked up. Which is kind of a pain in the ass. Because I wanted to use the fucking arm that's busted. But Catalyst is actually surprisingly decent about uh, making sure that things get sorted out properly. So it's just kind of a, uh, I need to wait for them to respond, but at the same time, they're in the middle of a, a giga fucking Kickstarter right now. Like, they're, it's, it's massive. They're, they're fucking having to plan stretch goals for up to $8 million. The clan fucking invasion Kickstarter only scored $2.6 million. And that was in its entire month run. Fucking the Mercenaries one has managed to completely smash that several times over. It's mental. It's fucking mental. Uh, just do one thing. Okay. And I'm super excited to see what happens next because it's going to be awesome to find all this out.
bunch of fucking goddamn murder beaters in here. I've had my eye on Infinity, I gotta be honest, because the, the minis are kind of fucking cool for it. It gives me a 40k vibe without be having to be bogged down by 40k. Um, also, dude, I would actually really recommend it. Uh, you should look into Alpha Strike. That's the worst. That's the fucking worst. But yeah, I would, um, uh, if you're gonna start doing the BT stuff, you should definitely look at Alpha Strike. It's got a good 40k vibe to it. attrition here. I probably should not be in here. It really does. Um, the Alpha Strike box is really phenomenal. Um, the Game of Armor combat box is great, and even the beginner set is really good. Like, you're gonna get good quality for your buck, no problem. My inventory is full. The only one I can really say you should not bother getting is the Clan Invasion until you start playing clans. Because it's just clan stuff. Holy shit, seven days to die uses that exact sound. Holy shit. That's funny. That's fucking funny. That actually makes me crack up a little bit that seven days to die uses that exact sound. But yeah, um, the Alpha Strike box is, is a really good hookup. But it's a little bit pricey because it's like you're, you're, it is giving you like fucking 16 minis. But yeah, overall. But it's nice too because, you know, you don't need... Uh, the other thing nice about Battletech, like you don't need the minis. You can just play whatever the fuck you want because most of the time people just want to play.
Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing. That's perfectly fine. No one gives a shit. It's awesome that they give you so much from just the arm, the main sets. You have a full, like, 16-something. And the 3D printed minis you picked up today, those are perfectly play legal. Trebuchet is a classic choice. I'm a Marauder simp, like, unapologetically. have a custom variant that I'm working on. I need to actually fully build it myself. Yeah, I've been uh, actually dipping into building minis. Um, next in uh, Mech Lab, I, I told you there, Mech Factor Error. Absolutely phenomenal fucking app. Very easy to work with. Oh, they've made it so much more approachable since uh, the old days, from what I've seen anyways. Just uh, don't touch Aerotech. Holy shit, this is going to be a slog. Yeah, Catalyst 100% wants new players in. Oh yeah. I mean, we're chipping it down. We got him. Yeah, 
It's a classic Diablo formula, and it just it just works. It just fucking works, man. That's kind of why I picked Grim Dawn tonight, because it's just a classic. You can't go wrong with just something that's just good. The Diablo formula is such a classic choice, it's just good. And you can just generally enjoy just playing and dicking around like an idiot. And Grimdon really made the Diablo formula very approachable. It's also decent in co-op too. It really is. Oh man, it's gonna be so weird to hear my uh, voice through this new microphone setup after this. Because I haven't uh, had the chance, like I didn't bother quickly listening in. change to a healing potion. It's been good. It's good to get back into this kind of shit.
excuse. The dead attacks have slowed and their numbers are thinning. A creature was doing this? Disturbing. Thanks to your efforts, we may yet hold out here a little longer. I've sent word to the gate guard. Speak to him and he should let you in. I need some time to plan our strategy. In the meantime, there are others around Devil's Crossing who could use your help. Oh good, I can actually buy that fucking bolt of action there. Working on a way to close them, but then you stumbled through ours. We have never seen a human, possessed or otherwise, pass through one before. You don't remember anything, do you? I may have taken some liberties while you were out cold. It was just a few tests, a blood sample or two, nothing major. Excellent. These will do perfectly. I'll just place them into my device here and. Oh my, that's not right. Not at all. That pulse, it wasn't supposed to go off. Oh dear. One, two, three. <laughs> I think. Ah, very good. I'm sure a little more aether in your system won't do you the slightest harm. Okay, maybe it was a lot more. But you look fine. Fitter than ever. A real shame about the prototype. Ah, we've been so preoccupied with this rift gate business. <laughs> I, I like this guy. My apprentice, Starlet. I sent her out to the Burwich Estates to fetch parts for our research, and she's been gone entirely, I have to say it. This guy's a fucking idiot, but... send you over you must have done quite a service with the dead if he's got hands to spare for old Barnabas let's get to business yeah our wind pumps broken down again and we're running low on water okay we're all out of parts so I can't fix her up we can always melt down what weapons we have but not to search the ruined house
You just pretty much pick up every single fucking quest. Oh, God. Yeah, this watermelon juice with some uh, straight up fucking moonshine, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Oh, very. I get drunk quickly because I don't drink as much anymore. That's basically what it is. And it's nice because it saves a lot of money. This is going a lot better than I thought it was. Oh yeah, no, it's not fucking worth buying straight up right now. Like, listen. Resident Evil 4 is great. But... They took away the ability to save the fucking dog, so... I'm waiting. You took away my ability to save the pupper at the start? You can fuck right off. You can fuck right off.
No save popper, no buy. I am a man of conviction when it comes to the puppers. Yeah, I really haven't been falling around too much with it, Rooney. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, the graphics updates are really nice. I'll agree with that. Also, it's very lame that they lock the uh, VR version behind the uh, quest. But thankfully, modders are already fixing that. One water is actually working on a first person version, just like uh, in Resident Evil uh, it's, uh, 7 there. God damn it, why are you so thirsty for him? Do you want me to dress up like Leon for you? There you go. I'll make it a community goal. Make the fucking community demand I dress up like Leon for you. Good. I mean, I'm doing my job right. I will never stop embarrassing you, babe. I forgot how cozy these kind of games are. It's been a while since I played one. I think last time I played a... Uh... And a fucking air RPG like this was fucking back when uh, I was dabbling in Path of Exile again. They really are. They're just. It's just something about them. It's timeless.
I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be playing fucking Diablo because, well, I'll be blunt, I don't support Blizzard anymore. Because, man, they are a fucking shitty company. Oh, God. So let's go back to the classics. Meanwhile, we make jokes about the milk fridge. So I'm a very unclassy bastard like that. I spotted it. I missed down here still. You have a supply at home. I still can't get over how good this fucking watermelon moonshine is. Mm. There, send the kid home. All right, I leveled up. I didn't even notice that. Shot the demon dog right in the ass. I didn't even see that dude there. Just blasted him. Well, plus I didn't think just go back and burn out of the snow. Barnabas, Barnabas, I don't fucking know right now. I'm very quickly getting intoxicated. I'm so much of a lightweight these days. I can bring the scrap back and finish a quest.
But I'm mispronouncing the dude's name because I'm starting to slowly get more and more drunk. Also because I'm an idiot. I'm your little Leon, baby. I love you too, babe. No, I'm not that gonna be not gonna be that drunk yet. Did you get the scrap? Perfect. I'll get the wind pump up and running in no time. Yeah, well, the good news is I got the water pumping again. The only problem is it smells like a sewer. About a tenfold since I cleared out a den of Slith ages ago. They're loathsome reptiles, make their homes in swamps and dank caves. This key lo Exactly. Luckily I have not hit the I am the liquor stage yet. Come see what's left. Well, definitely a fucking improvement there. Luckily, I don't think I'll ever hit I'm the liquor stage. We're getting buzzed, to say the least. I did that once at a work function. I'm never doing that again. It's pretty fucking embarrassing to have your uh, supervisor have to call you a cab because you're so fucking hammered. Pretty fucking embarrassing. It's also why I don't go to the work Christmas party. Because apparently the fucking, uh, the Ukrainians there get real fucking rowdy. And, uh, the factory manager will straight up do shots with you. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready for that one yet.
Having good equipment really does have a big effect, you know? Just fucking dunking on these convicts. Yeah, I, I really don't want to fucking get hammered with the slabs at work from work because they're uh, they're crazy. They're already crazy at fucking work. I don't I don't need to experience that kind of crazy on top of everything. Oh, I'm in uh, windowed full screen already, and I've been tabbing out constantly. Don't worry, Drago, but I appreciate the warning. Oh, I'm not playing D4. Fuck that. I'm not even playing it for free. If I really want to play, if I really want to do the Blizzard experience, I'll just knock my wife up and steal the breast milk. Besides, I've heard the Necro is so fucking passive play, it's not even funny. And I was a Necro main in D2. I'll buff my ass up, right? Ugh. Glad it's the weekend, though. Holy shit. I'm still kind of fucking sad that uh, my Phoenix Hawk mini came with a fucking fucked up gun barrel. It's like one of the. I was gonna use that one, and I'll be honest, there was a high chance I was gonna work on it this weekend. Mini was so fucking expensive, it's not even funny. It hurts a little actually how expensive that mini was for me. Mind you, I'm also the guy who just spent fucking like 200 bucks on the goddamn Kickstarter. 
But still, it was expensive goddamn mini. I expect my mini to come in perfect shape. Oh, they packed it properly. It was it wasn't like travel damage. Like, the, as I talked with the support guy, they said that uh, too many of them would come in, uh, would come in damage, so, you know, they're, they're like, okay, we gotta put it in boxes now. And it was fucking, it was a big fucking box for a mini. Like, we're talking, this is a little, tiny little Ziploc baggie with a little thing stapled on front of it. And this fucking thing comes with a giant ass fucking box. It's like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, it's like fucking, I posted pictures of it uh, in Discord, but it was, the barrel is completely misaligned in the manufacturing process. Uh, it looks almost like when they were printing it, the there was a small print failure in my mini. Because the tip of it just is out of, is out of line. And so I have this, basically I have a fucking barrel that's like split in half. It's fucking frustrating. Doesn't shock me. Soul 10. Yeah, we're totally doing this because I want to fucking have summons.
Yeah, pretty much so. The Phoenix Hawk Mini I got, uh, my plan for it is, is that it comes with kneeling parts. I'm going to do a kneeling pose for it. Um, and I plan to do it actually in some city ruins. So it's partially taken cover behind uh, a wrecked building is the plan for the base. So, you know, it actually looks cool as shit. So it has this perspective of looking like the uh, mini is taking cover and engaging some seriously heavy fighting. Hell yeah. Oops. What a fucking week, though, it's been for me. I gotta say, it's been a fucking ride this entire week. We're finally getting some uh, issues we have uh, fucking here with the government sorted out. Battletech Kickstarter launch. I got my fucking mini in. Weather's finally turned around. I've basically been sitting on my fucking ass most of the week, too. Getting paid to do nothing. Which is kind of awesome, but, uh... Kind of fucking sucks. Getting back on a streaming train. Feels good, man. I've been having fun playing my terrible degenerate fucking weave games.
Sorry, just looking at my uh, stuff here, I can possibly apply that ring I just picked up. Let me look at that free armor. Okay, let's keep this going though. Hell I'm thoroughly enjoying throwing these fucking Molotov cocktails. They are a lot of fun. There's just something satisfying about lighting shit on fire. Don't mind if I fucking do. Not much, man. How you been? Uh, I haven't been able to catch your streams because you stream at like the worst time for me now. Yeah, I've been recovering from my cold too. Shit is annoying. I can blow up that fucking eyeball there, holy shit. Oh, dude, that's the worst. My wife actually had a similar situation. She, uh, yeah, I saw you had the no power thing. That was bullshit. But yeah, she took a week, the week off for vacation. Two days healthy, the rest of it she'd been sick. I'm telling you, bro, you need to fucking invest in like a bat. A battery pack and a fucking solar charger. Cause like fuck. You got done dirty.
Yeah, that was your problem, bud. Like, I joke about it, but... At the same time, I, I, I'm not even joking anymore. Your power situation there has been fucked. Yeah, that's just, that's really fucked up overall. Like, the fact it took two days in the big city to get your power back. To be fair, we were also hardcore Pokemon Go players. So we aren't exactly the, uh, fucking, uh, people who generally you would consider would not have that kind of amount of fucking spare power banks kicking around. We played a lot. We played hardcore Pokemon Go. Seriously. Like, we played a lot of fucking Pokemon Go. Yeah, we. that's actually how we met. And, yeah. Well, the rest is history. We ended up getting married. But seriously, like, I would actually look into, like, um, an uninterrupted power, a fucking uh, power supply setup. Like, even one of the heftier ones, I would seriously, at this point in time, with the way things have been going, like, the, in your case especially, I would highly recommend you get your hands on a decent power, either a, a couple power bricks and a solar charger or a heavy-duty um, power bank. Just so that way you can, uh, like, use it, a laptop or something like that without stressing out too heavily. Uh, I still would get it, man. You never know. Like, you never fucking know anymore. I have... I'm a little conspiracy theory kind of related on this, some of this shit, to say the least. But... I have very, 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 very low trust of government institutions. And at the end of the day, if I can spend a bit of money to ensure that I have an uninterrupted uh, power supply going on situation, Yeah, you are a bit of a schizo, but it's cute.
But like, yeah, end of the day, spend a little money, you get a lot back. It depends heavily on the, sh the shelf life of the canned food. You kind of have to do a little digging. Rice and flour are actually phenomenal choices. Yep. I know you don't. I would worry if you didn't have the rice, Ace. And, dude, that's awesome! Congrats on the promotion! And the raise and shit, man. That's awesome! Shit. Everyone's turning up pretty good lately. Yeah, we got my boy Phoenix starting to get back into battle tech. We got fucking. They're, like they're getting a raise at work. We're getting some shit sorted out uh, with some uh, personal issues, like with the government. Yeah, no, man. Fucking, it's it's been rough out there for just about everyone. Yeah, it's it's nice just to see some people winning in the end finally. Cause it's just been fucking bad news getting beat down out there. Damn, that Molotov just cleaned up in there. This is a good way to start the weekend. I've got plans for us too this weekend. Um, Sunday, we're going to be doing some Divine Schizophrenia again. For those of you that didn't tune in la two weeks ago, I streamed parts of the I Divine Cybermancy, and you guys are going to be enjoying more of that on Sunday. So it's going to get schizo as fuck again. Yep. Oh, we're doing that next Saturday. That's going to be good. I can't wait for that. That's going to be awesome. I've heard it's decent. Like, Yes, full auto and full auto. I made that joke, Ace. Don't worry.
Nice! You can't go wrong with, like, the John Wick movies are fucking schlock at this point, but it's fun schlock. You can't go wrong. Hell, I still haven't seen fucking John Wick 3. I know they're already planning on doing a fucking John Wick 5. It's like, okay. <laughs> uh, you, you guys got enough John Wick? Oh, Jesus Christ. 60 mile an hour fucking storm? Holy shit. Yeah, I prefer you didn't, because you're one of the few streamers I actually pay attention to. I mean, everyone in this channel, in the chat today, who streams, I actually pay attention to, but that's it. I, I don't watch many other streamers out there. I actually try to make connections with the streamers I talk with. So I don't need fucking, uh, my list shrinking. It's a small fucking list right now. <laughs> and it's probably going to stay small for a long time. Because I'm too old to get invested in too many people. I'm too fucking old for this shit. <laughs> exactly. That's who I watch, my friends. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> Big old fashioned brawl there. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, but I like keeping my armor up. I'm gonna horrify you and I'm gonna actually say no. This is, guys, this is a big confession. I've never seen any of Evangelion. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen any of it. I uh, am a big fan of Masada, though. <laughs> if you've ever seen my Twitter feed, you know I'm a big fan. <laughs> My Twitter feed is fucked.
Help! She's trying to groom me! That's a good list right there. Uh, I'm a big Gundam fan. I've been a big Gundam fan for years. Finally got around to watching Witch from Mercury uh, about a month or two ago with uh, Kana there. That was fucking great. Nice! Band of the Hawk? Or like the, the fucking... Uh, the three movies? Phenomenal. Absolutely fucking phenomenal. Um, oh, so good. I know, man, I know. It's part of your charm, bro. It's part of your fucking charm. Meanwhile, I'm slowly turning into a fucking walking Battletech encyclopedia. Oh, Macross. I fucking love Macross. And not because of the whole um, Battletech Macross link. There's. So, there's actually. Okay, Kane. Um, tonight we're going downstairs and digging out the uh, black crates. There is a fucking VF nineteen Veritech fighter figure inside there. I will dig that out tonight. Um, I was a huge fan of Macross Plus because fucking uh, that was great. Uh. Oh yeah, I love some of the Gundam side stories. Fucking, uh, my favorite Gundam out of all of them is what's it? Eighth uh, MS Team. Eighth MS Team is my all-time favorite Gundam. I can't carry anymore. Uh, I actually have um, a battle-damaged RX seventy-nine G, and I also have an Easy Eight figure. Kicking around, uh, they're somewhere in the basement, or kicking around here. But like, I have, a, I, I specifically picked those up. I'll definitely check it out, cause I just fucking love Gundam in general. Cause like, listen, big mech, kick ass. Give me big mech. And yeah, um, with regards to the Battletech Macross link, so several Battletech mechs designs are actually tied into uh, various Macross designs. They were straight lifted from uh, from the fucking uh, from Macross and transferred over to Battletech, and. Because of Harmony Gold being the Latergist fucking fuckers they are. Any luck clearing out those slits? People are starting to beg me for what Well done. Once I pump out the remaining poison water, let's... Anyways, but yeah. Um... The... For example, the Warhammer is actually based off the Destroyed Tomahawk. If you put a Warhammer and a Destroyed Tomahawk uh, image side by side, like you will, you will not miss the differences. The Warhammer had to be redesigned. There was an entire series of Unseen. The Marauder, my all-time favorite mech, was actually based off of the Zentradi officer pods. Um, what else? The Phoenix Hawk is based off the Veritech, fucking uh, humanoid form. I can go on. I, I can fucking go on here.
But like, it's just wild. Absolutely wild. All the various designs. Listen, I was huge on Macross before I was huge on Battletech. I'm gonna keep that. See you around. Yeah, I played Gundam Evo. I proceeded to drop it shortly after. <laughs> good, you're back. I've heard good things from both. One of my scouts came back with news making our next move clear. The dead are heavily concentrated in Burwich Village to the north. You've proven yourself quite resourceful thus far. Your ability to secure rift gates for human use could be a turning point in our situation. With all the activity around Burwich, follow the road north. I I can't do that shit again. That shit was too sweaty. It was it was a miserable experience, like. That was so fucking miserable playing that. I couldn't even get- I- it was a nightmare to even get just one fucking win a day. I remember watching your streams, man, I was just like, I don't know if I can do this. This shit's suffering. This shit is straight up suffering. Yeah, man, like, I don't fucking blame you, bro. Yeah, you've been streaming so fucking early lately. I, you, as soon as you stream, I'm on my way home from work. And it takes me like an hour to get home. So I was like, I can't tune in right now because my fucking data is fucked. Because I haven't been working really. I've been just sitting playing fucking on my phone all day. I know, and I'm glad you're enjoying it, at the very least, like getting the most out of it. Yeah, you gotta take advantage of it while you can. can't wait to, for the fucking... It's gonna be like a year till I get my shit from the battle to Kickstarter. It's gonna be horrible. I'm so fucking excited for it, though. Yeah, for those of you that haven't been paying attention, um, 
I'm a big Battletech nerd, as everyone knows, and they just recently dropped another Kickstarter for their fifth core box. And I don't need to get this physique. Get on my armor. And yeah, so they uh, just started the Kickstarter. Dude, you got him, man. Um, one, you can 3D print your minis, and it is 1,000% legal. Two, the community is disgustingly friendly. Like, holy fuck. Three, super fucking cost-efficient. Like, you ain't getting blood dry. The core, like, okay, so the, the core box set, Game of Armor Combat... Eight minis plus eight standees for like 50 bucks. That's enough for four stuff to play. Nah, this is, we're dealing, okay, so you're going to be, if you're printing minis, you're printing with resin, you're not printing with FDM. And FDM is the one that does, that's people have been building their firearms with. So the ATF won't touch you for that one. <laughs> I like where this is going. I have pipe bombs. Pipe bombs and molotovs. I'm living the fucking dream. Oh, dude. I mean this in the nicest way fucking humanly possible. You gotta get out of that hell state. If you want to fuck, if you want guns, you gotta get the fuck out of that hell state. Yeah, yeah. That that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. I got no words for how fucking sad that is. <sighs> yeah, well... I'm not trying to play the, compa the comparison game of, hey, my life is worse than yours, but they made AR-15s illegal here. With no vote. And, oh, God. I Listen. Oh, oh, no. I. Oh, boy. Oh, fucking boy. I need to drink if I'm going to fucking explain this shit, because you're going to hear some horror. You should get a drink too, bro. Go get a drink. You're, you're going to want one. So, this starts with a tragedy, an actual tragedy. Uh, a couple years ago, there was a mass shooting in Halifax, or not uh, like outside Halifax, but it was bad. It was the worst mass shooting in Canadian history. Now, it is horrific what happened. There is no arguing this. Uh, I'm not going to go into how bad all the fuckery that went on during it too on the police side it was dude if, if things could go wrong they went wrong with this one like i will give you the fucking highlights of this shit like i i can't even play while describing this i have to fucking just like it, it is it is something else uh 
give you an idea, like fucking, like I've got, I've got no fucking words for this. Like, here we go. That's basically fucking. I'm leaving the goddamn angry fucking emote on here. Like you're fucking gonna have to watch me this. So, the mass shooting occurs as it's fucking starting. One of the guy's victims escapes, tells police, and because they do not have the authorization to use the emergency text system, it's like to send out a fucking emergency alert, they fucking send it out over Twitter. The fucking RCMP is tweeting that there is a mass shooter in this area, not sending out a fucking emergency alert. The dude was disguised as an RCMP officer as well with a accurate cruiser. The RCMP knew this was happening. They knew he was making this and they were like, oh yeah, just don't drive it around. Just You can take it to car shows, but don't drive it around. He then proceeds to use two illegally acquired weapons like these were smuggled from across the states. He did not legally own these. Rolls up on an officer, kills them, takes their weapons, and proceeds to go on a mass shooting spree. The RCMP has a hard time tracking him because of the fact he's dressed up as a fucking cop. Uh, and at one point, during the confusion, the RCMP has commandeered a fire station and is using it to shelter civilians who don't have a safe place to hide. So they're like, they're protecting them. There are RCMP officers out front. In, like, full uniform, cop cars are out, lights are on. Like, you know, everyone knows this is a safe place to go to. Two officers roll up with their patrol rifles, open fire on the fire station, thinking it's a suspect. They then cease fire and drive off. Thank God no one was hit. They fucking, they were such shit shots that they, they fuck, they didn't hit anybody. They hit the fire station, though. They lit up their... They lit up... Fuck it. They, it was a fucking straight up blue and blue. They lit up their own fucking officers. Who were thankfully missed. Thank God. Because that would have just been a cluster fucking half. So, to recap, this sick fucking human being kills sev like 30 people with illegally acquired weapons... Trudeau then goes and does an order in commons, which is basically a government order, banning 700 different firearms, including the AR-15. They went from already restricted. So here's the quick spark notes on our gun laws. You are not legally allowed to own a firearm unless you have a PAL, a Possessions and Acquisitions License. And that is restricted to bolt actions, rifles, like semi-automatic rifles, and shotguns. And, th and there are certain types of semi-automatic rifles that are classified as restricted, which is anything big, black, and scary. For example, um, the civilian version of the Tavor, I think, X95, I think it is. That is a PAL. That is, a, you only need a PAL. That is a non restricted rifle. You could fucking just buy that in a gun store if you have your PAL and you can leave with it. You, The only restriction. Uh, those are restricted. And they're trying to. They actually. So it gets worse, actually. So. On to the restricted tier now. Restricted are all pistols and anything big, black, and scary on the list. Restricted tier cannot be used anywhere outside of a handgun, uh, out of a legally registered firearms range. It gets worse, dude. It gets worse. Our gun laws are, are mental. Like, okay, it's good. Like, we have very restrictive gun laws, but they aren't horrific well weren't horrific they've gotten worse um like it was very it was you know you have to sit through a course to get your pal you then have to sit through another course to get your r pal 
So when you have your RPAL, your AR-15, when it was legal to own one, you could you would have to get a light a permission to transport from the fucking like from a fucking the firearms uh, chief office of your province. So you would literally have to call weeks ahead to confirm. Yeah, I'd like to take my rifle to the gun range. You can only then once they then once they give you permission, you can on on you have to say on this date around this time, you can only go to the gun range and go home. You are not allowed to stop to go to get Tim Hortons. You are not allowed to stop to uh, gas. Uh, you can gas up your car, yeah, I guess, but. You're not allowed to stop and go detour and, oh, I need to go do a grocery stop because my wife wants me to pick up milk on the way home. No, honey, I can't do that. I have a restricted rifle in my trunk. It's fucked. Pistols are the exact same situation. Uh, so anyways, after Trudeau decided to outlaw 700 guns, he then added another to up to 1,500 different types of rifles, many of which actually are not in production at all. Uh, prohibited is also stuff like you can't own anything fully automatic in Canada. At all. You have to be grandfathered in and it's an even bigger fucking nightmare to do that. Because literally it is you had to already have the type of license and it, it's fucked man, it's fucked. So they actually fucking banned the G11 by fucking name here. They banned a fucking G11. That gun doesn't exist. They prototyped it in the 80s. Yeah, that's Canadian gun laws. The AN-94 is illegal to own in Canada. Russia doesn't sell that shit to the public. This is the kind of shit I have to deal with here. It's fucked, man. It's fucked. Uh... So it's only getting worse, too, because Trudeau piggybacking, deciding to stand on still warm bodies. They banned that. They already did that, actually. That's that's banned by name. I'm not even joking. I'm dead fucking serious. Dead ass serious. Yeah. Dead ass, dude. Dead fucking ass. They banned the Pancor. Like, that skill's not ready. Yeah. If it's big, black, and scary, it's banned in Canada. By name. The government hates you if you're a gun owner. So, anyways, uh, following up on that. They ended up uh, making it, uh, putting a permanent ban on handgun transfers, so you can't even buy a fucking handgun anymore. The chief firearms office will not actually c c confirm your transfer of your handgun. Yeah, our government hates us. Period. It's fucking sad. Um, and they, they, they're they constantly going after legal gun owners, too. So, our legal gun owners, do you, do you want to guess roughly how many crimes a legal gun owner commits? Oh, knife crimes already are fucking through the roof, dude. Dude, fucking where I live, they call this the fucking the city name's Handshake. That's where you get stabbed with a fucking broken beer bottle. I lived in the murder ca I live in the fucking one of the murder capitals of Canada. So to give you a, a, a good idea of just how many gun crimes the average legal gun owner commits, they actually commit next to none. Because the average legal gun owner 
has a background check done on them every single morning. And if they have committed a single crime, the RCMP will show up at their door and confiscate their firearms. They will never be allowed to own another firearm again in Canada. Yeah, pepper spray is illegal. Yeah, man, it's fucked. It's it's fucked. Like, oh, dude, if you use a fucking gun to defend yourself, you'll actually end up in fucking prison. They'll treat you fucking worse than the guy who tried to kill you. Like, I love my country. I fucking love it here. But... My government hates me. My government despises my existence and my will to... and want to protect my life and my uh, life of my loved ones. Meanwhile, while the government is currently attacking, basically, they're trying to push to get all guns banned in Canada, like... It, no, fucking... 100% of our illegal firearms are coming through the states. Now, they're being smuggled in... Okay, so... I, I really hate to get like this, but this is a very very fucking I appreciate that man thank you like I don't like to talk these kind of politics on my stream ever I don't like to talk these kind of politics with anyone because at the end of the day I don't care like I'm going to be blunt here I am a right leaning person however however I do not care where your politics lie at the end of the day I will respect your right and I will defend your right to believe what you want to believe at the end of the day because this is the kind of free world we live in and I will defend it to the death. I care not where you stand as long as you stand with me in defending my views as well as yours. Now. At the end of the day. The fucking... The, there is a major gun smuggling problem coming through a native reserve that straddles the American and Canadian border. The government will not do anything about it because they do not want to be seen as racist. It is a known and commonly witnessed thing seeing smuggler boats going across the river, bringing guns and shit. It's, yeah, at the end of the day, I just want to... I appreciate that. I just... I'm very wary of bringing up this, these kind of topics because I want to create a comfortable environment where people can get away, get away from these things. I don't want people coming here and expecting me to rant about the government. I want people to come here and just go, yeah, we're going to vibe and watch this Canadian dude be terrible at video games. <sighs> Come see what's left of my wares. I know. I'm, uh, I'm very much the kind of guy who just wants to live and let live. But... They hate me, they hate my existence, and I hate them more. Uh, 
Well, that was a tangent I didn't plan on going on. <laughs> see you around. I'll see what's left of my wares. I will spend. Ugh. Tell me about it, man. I appreciate that insight, Vic. I really do. Yes, I'm very much the kind of guy who... Uh, oh, another thing, too. Uh, 3D printing firearms is completely illegal here now. And I appreciate you showing up, man. I, I really do. I just love it when people show up and hang out and chat. Yeah, like 3D printing firearms is completely illegal, you know? Oh, God. So, another fucking fun tangent. Ah! So, fucking, when it comes to 3D printed firearms, the RCMP actually used to help you when it came to registering your own home main. main manufactured legal firearms they would actually help you do it so that way you did not violate any laws until one day they decided to change it and say yeah no that's illegal now they they interpret the law as much as they fucking want they are so goddamn corrupt Ugh. I just want to own fucking machine guns and shoot grenade launchers, god damn it. I want a 50 cal, but that's illegal now. Seriously. Three years ago, I could legally buy a GM6 Lynx 50 caliber bullpup rifle as a non-restricted weapon. That's illegal now. That's straight up, they straight up fucking made it illegal to have one of those. Like, I can't have any fun here! Uh. Oh yeah, I should actually uh, another fun tangent so regarding to uh, the massive gun banning bills that they're doing. They're making airsoft illegal. They're making fucking airsoft illegal. Because it's too realistic. It is. Uh, I actually played for years. I no longer play because one, I'm too old for that shit, and two, it was a very expensive hobby. Um, it is. It really is. Uh. It, and the airsoft in the, the airsoft industry here is actually quite big. So, okay, back when I played airsoft, do you know how hard we went on protecting our sport? We went hard. Like, if you were underage in the community, you were not allowed to have access to the buy and sell sections of the community because at the end of the day, we were not. We, the sell anyone who was selling was not willing to sell to any miners to protect and verify that an, a mature adult was purchasing these this equipment like I actually had to meet 
a another member of the community who was designated as a verifier and i had to show him my id i had to produce identification to verify that i was in fact 18 just so i could buy a an airsoft rifle and not an expensive one either like just it it was a fucking cr goddamn kraken we took it seriously like gun cases <laughs> oh man that's so much fun that is so much fun dude i i'm a little jealous that's awesome Anything I feel. Don't even get me started on the th the whole tier two tiered system that that uh, the government has because of uh, the fucking treaties with the natives. Don't even get me started on that. I, I can imagine that sucks. That's still... If you're the one getting to let loose with the 50, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Very much a I have the power of God in anime on my side moment. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day... This is a, it's, I love this country, but it legitimately feels like they're trying to drive out anyone who does not live in Toronto. <laughs> Holy shit, that's. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I'm having a hard time breathing. <laughs> Damn it, dude. That's funny as hell. Holy shit, man. That that made my night. That that fucking made my night. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh. Holy shit. Oh god. Those things are evil. I was not prepared for this tangent tonight. <laughs> I might need to get another drink soon. Stop playing. Why isn't it playing? I gotta fix that. Something ain't right there. Something ain't right there. So that should have played. Let's see here. Let's see if that plays. Huh! The audio alerts are fucked right now. Just my goddamn luck. Well, we'll have to fix that later.
That is really frustrating. I hate that. Oh, God. That is horrifying. Yeah. After the stream, I will fix those alert sounds because I'm, I'm not going to bother fixing them right now because we're playing still. I can't believe the fucking gun tangent I ended up going on. We just tonight. I was not ready for that. Ace, that, 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 you know what? That doesn't even shock me. That does not shock me. You would use a flare gun with a 12 gauge in it. Dude, that is rough. I've seen it, actually. I've seen the fucking, uh, the hut that they put you guys through. How they, uh, get you in there with the gas mask, get you to take it off, get a big old whiff.
hello, traveler. Yep. <laughs> oh, hello, traveler. That's what I've heard. I've also heard the stories about some of the people who are actually immune to the effects of CS gas. how much of a fun time that is. Uh, people just don't e seem to understand the fact that they're, they just are genetically immune to it. Poor bastard. Yeah, it's a very rare immunity, but it it's definitely hilarious when it happens. Seems that my rant, our, the ranting about guns in Canada has been popular tonight. Because there's a lot of people watching tonight. I just noticed. There, he, he wanted to keep you on your toes. I'm, I'm sure that's what he wanted to do. You can never expect the enemy to play by the rules. Yeah, that's a little crazy then. Definitely a mentally stable man. Dude, it's fine. I'm enjoying your stories. Seriously. It's better than me ranting like Alex Jones, you know? You know it. I'm 
good old Alex Jones to your ranting about fucking gun laws in Canada. Now the government is out to kill you. You don't want them to do it faster. Then they'll just fuck it up and make it worse. It's the government. They're gonna fuck it up no matter what. How you doing, Phantasm? Oh, it's Grim Dawn. It's, it's basically fucking Diablo 2.5. Okay, I can't kill that. That's six levels on me. We run now. We fucking run. Big fat fucking nope. Yeah, you managed to miss uh, pretty much me going on like a 20 minute rant about gun laws in Canada. And uh, also, I'm drinking pretty heavily. Ah, We're testing out a new microphone setup. We're going back to the classic Grim Dawn. Which, by the way, phenomenal game. I recommend it. If you like Diablo, you'll like Grim Dawn. And it's multiplayer, of course. Think of it this way. Instead of supporting the breast milk bandits at Blizzard, you can play a good game. strong enough move along now stranger
Damn. Yeah, urban exploration is something I adored for as well. I I have a just absolute love of things that are falling apart, things that are like just the urban decay. I love it. It is I it is my dream to one day actually go to the exclusion zone. I I cannot I really want to go there one day. Like, I just think it would be something absolutely amazing to experience. I thought our honeymoon was supposed to be Japan. I was like, listen, babe, I love you, but I would not want to do the honeymoon in Chernobyl. Take your word for it because I'm gonna be completely honest. It is blanking on me right now. Probably because of the fact that we are basically we're stuck, fucking uh, unable to travel for so long that I probably didn't think I'd be traveling again within the next five, six years. <laughs> Listen, COVID has really fucked with my memory, to say the least. Like, just... My sense of time has been destroyed by the pandemic. Like, I, I, I have such a fucking warped sense of time because of it. When we talk pre-pandemic, it, it feels like it's been like 10 years to me. because of how messed up things are. It really has felt like a fucking decade. I really don't have words for the, what we've experienced in the past couple of years. I don't like living in interesting times. I don't. I just want a welded shit post. That's it, man.
I'm a simple man. Making good progress through this. My hands are going to hate me after playing this. Oh man. So much clicking. That worked out pretty well. What's saying this is better damage? Weird. Not sure why, but hey, I mean, whatever. Probably gonna wrap up soon, honestly. It's been almost three hours of this shit. I won't hide it. I'm getting a little tired. I am an old man and all that. I need to do my gailies and my weeb shit. I need to go play bad games and all that. It was! It was a lot of fun. I'll definitely want to come back to this. Uh, I mean, I'm not against having people join in. I'm really not. So let's try and get ourselves to the next rift. Well, I'll be a living person.
Man, it's a good thing I'm not traumatized by spiders. Because that was a lot of fucking spiders jumping at me all at once. That was a lot of fucking spiders. There's a stinky cat beside me. I was gonna find a uh, portal. One day we'll find this portal so I can actually stop the stream. <laughs> One day. Until then, I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, hey, we level up at least. I don't know if my hands can handle that. Like, you'd think there'd be a fucking portal around here somewhere. There it is! Gotta fight bosses now.
Get fucked. Whew. There we fucking go. Let's wrap up some quests. Not bad stuff there. Yes, I did. I forgot to, I forgot to take it off. Have you found a rift gate in Burwich? What's the situation out there? Good work. While you were gone, I dug through some of the files in this office, and I think we have our target. As you are acutely aware, ethereals can possess humans and bend them to their will. I always had, there have been countless holes in the prison records, prisoners just disappearing, never to be seen again. The warden's personal logs paint a more complete picture. He's been transferring prisoners into a secret facility underneath his mansion in Burwich Village for years. What for, I don't you know. You two take care, bud. I'm helping sure off with a few minutes myself. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for coming out tonight. I hope you enjoyed my fucking hilarious ranting about uh, how much I hate the government. Because we all know, I hate the government. So, you guys have a great night. Thank you, Vig, for the stories. Thanks, Ace, for stopping by. Phoenix for following. Phantasm for following. Or, uh, follow, fuck, stopping by. I'm drunk, okay? Just, everyone, thanks for coming by tonight. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you Sunday. We're going to do some more fucking eye divine schizophrenia. So get ready for some weird shit to go down. So catch you guys later. Yeah, I'm fucking sauced. I want to keep drinking and go have some more Dunkaroos. I'll be honest with you. But I probably shouldn't because that sugar is raw on the teeth. So have a good night, guys. I'll see you in a couple days. And I look forward to whatever kind of fuckery goes down. Catch you later.